What up, everybody? Welcome to the channel. I am your host, Mike Fury, and I make informative videos just like this one. So please hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any future content. And yes, new microphone, new audio. <laughs> Today is a recap and react. It is Friday, October 15th, and we are talking about a game that I have not actually mentioned on the channel probably at all besides maybe on a top 10 list or the games that I'm looking forward to. But it is a, for me, it's exciting news that the currently in development hell Vampire the Bloodlines Masquerade 2 or Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines 2, I think if I'm not mistaken, that's the proper way of saying it, is actually currently alive. I wouldn't really say well just yet because there are a couple signs here, but let me go ahead and let's talk about the article written by, let me go ahead and you know, I have to give the shout out to my sources. Number one, I heard it first from Carrick. He's the one who pointed me in this direction. And number two, let's talk about Video Game Chronicles. They wrote an article about it. So the article from Video Game Chronicles goes as I read, the vampire, the masquerade bloodlines two was almost canceled paradox reveals. The next game, the next upcoming RPG from Paradox was can was almost canceled according to the new interview with company CEO Fedrick Wester. He says, when we lifted the game from the original developer, which if I'm not mistaken was either Hard Suit Labs, yes, it was Hard Suit Labs, we had a long review in case we should end or run it further. He said, then we were actually prepared to close the production completely. But we got a pitch that we thought was convincing enough to run, play it on, and we have very good hopes that the game would be a good game that meets the player's expectations. Paradox has yet to reveal the studio that is now handling Paradox on Bloodlines 2's production. However, Wester says that is a very reputable and talented developer. This can mean absolutely anything. It could be absolutely anybody. My hope was that Vampire Bloodlines 2 was given towards in exile that was my hope because they understand rpgs now who else could probably do a vampire bloodlines masquerade 2 and how long is this gonna take this raises a lot of questions for me because number one why haven't you gone out and said it yet if it is a very talented and reputable developer that is let's say is it talented in open world kind of at least kind of hub based games like is is are they talented in that aspect are they have they worked on open world rpgs before because even though i think or at least an open world sandbox have they done that because if not then talented even though i do imagine that a lot of people can probably be talented in certain aspects of game development i don't really feel like you can probably say that they're talented if they haven't worked on a actual sandbox RPG before. I would like to know what their, you know, what their catalog is. I want to know what exactly is. So then I, therefore I can feel like, okay, they are working on this. Like if it's CD project red working on this, then I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm rolling. Right. But the odds that they, they're too busy with cyberpunk. They're too busy with probably what you're for. In Exiles, be, um, busy creating their brand new open world. Obsidian's busy creating their brand new open worlds. Avowed just got a leak that I'm probably going to talk about as well. And I'm excited to talk about Avowed as soon as we get more information, at least. And it is like, who, who else can it be? Who else could it possibly be? Obsidian is an open world or sandbox RPG maker. At least uh, um, the Outer Worlds is a actual hub based, I guess, would be hub world um, RPG open galaxy or semi-open galaxy who else they can't like bioware they're too busy making dragon age 4 who else is the question that i would love to be answered so that one is the first one number two i'm extremely happy because this finally gives us a little bit of information pertaining to the future the future of this game hopefully they can possibly finish it when is it going to be finished that would be the next question if i am understanding correctly the state of the game when it was originally like when they took it off when they took hard suit labs off of it last february i think it was when it happened it wasn't in the best state so are they using this game like are they using the already like assets that are, have already been placed or are they starting from scratch like what exactly because by pitching it how what would the pitch be like they know what they want we know what we want we want a successor to bloodlines masquerade give us the same well, not the same but give us a 
upgraded version of the second of the first game. Yeah, have us dance, have us be vampires, have have us play this role that is based on the original um, dice and paper, pen and paper RPG. Give us what we asked for. So it's just the verbiage is all weird for me. It's a little strange, but I'm excited. The news I have it now. I have it personally. If somebody were to ask me, hey, when do you think this game is coming out? I would probably be like, I have it maybe late 2023, maybe, maybe at least two years to fix all the issues and finish it, polish it up. They even said later on in that same exact article that they are going to, you know, kind of be careful, be mindful of whenever they actually try to do another project like this, because obviously they had a bad experience with Hard 2 Labs, but it was just, it's just, you know what it is? I actually blame them because Hard 2 Labs, if you look at their catalog, it's not an expansive ca catalog. It's not a catalog that you would be like, you guys are definitely the people for the job. Like, it's just, that's just my personal opinion. I don't believe that they were the right people for a sandbox vampire RPG game. None of their games, none of their history of creating games. Let me know that, yes, this was the, this, this is the developer that we want doing this. That's my personal opinion. I don't know how you guys feel. But anyways, guys, that is a news update. I am thinking that hopefully we can see this game by 2023 late probably 2024 but hopefully by 2023 we can see this game come to fruition meet everybody's expectations have it be excellent because this is such a this is like i have this internal beef with all video game developers because there's so much material out there that you guys just won't touch and i just don't understand why and this is one of them the world of darkness is super popular like People love vampires, people love mummies, people love werewolves, people love, like, and now we're getting to see a little bit of, a little bit more people diving in, but how, why give us so many other shooters? Why give us, yeah, because it's popular? Yeah, but you can make, you could be, you could be in your own lane, but I understand that it's hard to create your own lane, but it's so weird to me. Like, I just don't know. The Epic of Gilgamesh hasn't been touched. Uh, Stargate Galactica, or Battlestar Galactica hasn't been touched. There's so many star trek like there's so many ip out there that you guys could possibly get licensed for and make a cool video game out of but you guys just keep on doing the same exact thing i'm on a rant here leave let's leave that right there it is awesome i'm happy i am hopeful i want a very cool bloodline a, a very cool vampire rpg if you want to get a little bit more of vampire in your system go ahead and play the battle royale the free to play battle royale that's currently out on if I'm not mistaken, it's out on early access and it's on PC. If you guys want to go ahead and play that, it's actually pretty cool. I have played it. It does have some cheat software that a lot of people don't really like, but that's neither here nor there. That is it for today, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Tell me what you guys think of Vampire still being alive and hopefully well. Let me know down in the comment section below. Are you excited? Are you not excited? Do you even care about Vampire Bloodlines Masquerade? Let me know down in the comment section below. That is it for today, guys. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video and enjoyed the microphone, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and make sure to share the video i am going i'm back on my grind i'm back doing this i needed to make sure that when i came back a lot of things some things were going to get fixed and this is one of them i wanted to make sure that the audio was going to be a much better experience for you guys and yeah if you can follow me on instagram twitter facebook links are down in the description below along with my patreon do consider supporting me there all dollar a day keeps the landlord away i'm your host mike fury it's been a complete pleasure until next time mike